Hi, my name is Rebecca Fitzhugh, and in this video, I will show you how to protect and restore Microsoft 365 emails with Rubric Polaris. It's not uncommon for IT to be called upon to help restore an email missing from a user's inbox. Additionally, companies may need to archive deactivated user emails for a specific period of time. And last, you may need to assign or modify a policy to dictate retention for an event like litigation. Rubric provides cradle to grave lifecycle management and automates that long-term retention to make recovery and management of your email a painless request. So today I'm going to show you how you can define your backup frequency and retention, and then I will show you the different options for restoring email. And then lastly, we'll wrap up by actually restoring a missing email. So first, let's take a look at my inbox. Earlier today, I was searching for an email called important business that I sent to one of my colleagues, and I can't seem to find it, and I need it for an upcoming meeting. So let's see if I'm able to restore this using Rubric Polaris. After logging into Rubric Polaris, I'm brought to the dashboard page by default which provides a global overview of all of the different events, as well as the compliance information for all of your different workload types and data protected by Rubrik. So let's go take a look at the SLA domain. So we see that I already have a number of SLA domains created. So let's specifically drill into the policy that's protecting my Microsoft 365 account. Notice on the left-hand side, I can filter by object type. So we can specifically see which Microsoft 365 accounts are being protected by this policy. So in this case, I have both my user email and my OneDrive being protected and retained by this particular SLA. Within the protection policies, you can specify snapshot frequency as well as retention to determine your SLA's recovery time objective as well as your recovery point objective or your RTO and your RPO. And because an SLA domain is a declarative policy, once I apply it to a data type, then all of the lifecycle orchestration is scheduled and automatically managed to meet my desired outcomes. I can assign this policy as broadly or as granularly as required by my use case. So from the subscription level all the way down to the individual mailbox. By selecting inventory, I can view all of my different data sources, including Microsoft 365. Within Office 365, I'm able to assign my SLA domain at the subscription level to ensure that all mailboxes within it are protected by my catch-all policy. Additionally, I could assign this at a more granular level. Moreover, I can navigate between my different data sources between my mailbox and my OneDrive, and if needed, I can assign the same or different SLA domains for email versus OneDrive, which can be really handy if you have different retention mandates for different types of data. Now you may have hundreds or even thousands of inboxes that you're managing, so instead of sorting through or filtering, you can quickly go ahead and search for that user's name and then select their account. This will bring you to that individual object page. So here I can see details about my user and the type of protection that they're receiving. And then on the right hand side, I can see my snapshots overview, which provides me an information about how many total protection points I have and the oldest versus the latest. Now, if I know the name of the email, I can go ahead and search across all of my different points in time. So notice that I'm able to specify things like the subject or even the sender or recipient. And I can specify a created date range. So in this case, let's go ahead and search important business. And in a few seconds, we'll see our results returned. So notice that I do find my email, so I can go ahead and select that and choose whether I want to restore to the original user or restore to a different user. Restoring to a different user is most commonly used 
when that original user is no longer an active employee or an active account. So let's go ahead and choose to restore. Now, alternatively, I could select a specific day and point in time and choose to navigate through my inbox or folder structure in this manner. Let's go ahead and hit cancel since we've recovered the email that I need. So next, let's look at the events. We can see that my email was successfully restored and it took about nine seconds. So let's go back and look over at my email account. Notice that I now see a folder called restored on and then today's date and I can see my email that I had originally sent to my colleague. Now I can go ahead and restore it back to my sent items or maybe I wanna go ahead and grab it and put it in my important folder. If I no longer want this folder, then I can just go ahead and simply delete it. So in a matter of seconds, we saw that I was able to restore the email and Polaris even emailed me to let me know that it was successful. So to summarize, this video demonstrated how simple declarative policies can be used to protect and manage your Microsoft 365 emails. And you saw how quickly you can search and restore emails in the event of accidental deletion. Thank you for watching. For any additional information, please visit rubric.com.